Grinner Mortals. You are watching Dead Grins Customs. Like this video and subscribe to this channel before I destroy you all. Don't you like this color? Isn't it as beautiful as his customs? Go on, worship this channel or else. Hey Dead Grinners, this is Dead Grin and welcome to another episode of Dead Grins Customs. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the Dragon Star's first form Frieza. Now, I don't even want to see the box because we already saw that with the Super Saiyan 4. I mean, just to remember, we have Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Final Form Frieza, and Piccolo in this wave. Um, honestly, guys, as much as I loved the Super Saiyan 4 for what it is, this is probably going to be the MVP of the entire two waves. Um, maybe Perfect Cell might beat him out, but for damn sure, First Form Frieza is a must. Everyone's been wanting one. Um, I think Jax or Irwin released one, and that one was pretty good. The detail in this damn figure is so freaking crazy, man. Obviously let's get to the what makes this figure I guess bad which is uh, the gigantic head the proportions on the dragon stars are never uh, right when it comes to Frieza um, and you know some of the things like the, the, there's so much detail but the lack of shading totally kills all the detail that, that the figure has he has these really cool like ribbed legs and arms and tail you can't really see the detail unless you bring the figure like super close. You see? You see all that detail right there. And then the detail on the on the shin guards and his uh you know on his um gauntlets. The face is amazing. Perfect smirk. Love the the scouter that they gave him. The tone on the flesh is beautiful. I love that glossy armor. It looks perfect, just like the anime. But like I said, the the fact that uh, he doesn't have any shading. None of the Dragon Stars ever have shading, but on this one, it's it's almost a crime because you can't really see any of the fucking detail. Um, articulation is what we come to expect now from the Dragon Stars freezes, man. I mean, they're just freaking awesome. You can um, pop the arm down for more range, you know. You can put it back in. The legs are the same. Maximum kick out. Double jointed knees, double jointed elbows. Uh, obviously, you know, the little swivel and the uh, swing on the uh, hands. This head, I will say, there is one huge difference between all the other freezes and this freezer and I absolutely love it and I kind of don't at the same time you can actually pop off the head really easily and it has a ball peg instead of what we've been having which is like this weird like thing that pops out right here you know and uh, there's a huge little hole that goes in there then it's really hard to remove the head out of all the bald guys like this guy, G oh, well, not this guy, but the original Frieza, original Golden Frieza, Jiren, um, Hit, all those guys. And I thought it was going to happen again with this one, but I luckily it didn't. Like, uh, we were uh, spared that, you know, so like I said, guys, great detail, great color. Um, easily the MVP of the wave. Um, I like it a lot better than I do the Super Saiyan 4 for what it is because a lot of people have been wanting one. But like I said before, as far as with SH Figuarts, the proportions are kind of off. Like uh, the head is too big. He's a little, maybe you can forgive the height, but that head is giant. You can buy a world collectible figure head uh, that it's, uh, he's like, like laughing like it's like it's before he explodes a uh, planet um uh, vegeta and it looks perfect i've seen plenty of people doing that i've seen people who have just given him a simple wash to bring out all that detail the uh, one thing i do like for all of you guys are wondering can you make like a 
Saiyan Saga Vegeta with this body. Well, let's check it out. <clears throat> Easily removable, guys. No, you don't have to heat them up or anything. <clears throat> now, I know this looks weird on, <laughs> with the, the proportions that this figure has. But, that upper body, this lower legs, if you get a Vegeta head, switch out the arms, totally see it. And I think I might actually end up using this guy to finish off my Turles that I've been holding off for a really long time. And I might use the body of the original Turles figure that I had just to do something else. My overall thoughts on this, guys. This freeze is definitely worth it. Definitely the MVP of this wave, and it looks the best. Um, like I said, look, I mean, his, you would think that this body would not be able to fit this. The fact that it fits it, and the fact that, you know, if you just remove these arms and put regular length arms, this body's gonna look freaking awesome. And just remove the head, obviously. Now, the neck is something different, though. Um, uh, it kind of has like this really, it sticks out way too much. So regular heads like, like this uh, Goku Black won't be able to fit right in it. You see, it's gonna like, that's basically my recipe for a uh, Turles. <laughs> but uh, like I said, like uh, you can't just push the head, you can't move it anywhere else. Like what I would do is probably heat this neck up, pop it off and then Replace it with uh, another one if you have a like a Super Saiyan Blue Goku or or an extra Gohan body. Like you just remove the necks, heat them up, pull them out, and then switch them out. And everything should be gravy. Like I said, I like this figure a lot, and it's probably one of the best ones. All right. So uh, remember to visit Franken Culture at FrankenCulture.com. You can follow them on Instagram, Facebook. And in and Twitter, you can also follow me, Dead Grins Customs, on those same social media platforms. Remember, if you visit frankenculture.com, not only do you get my YouTube content, but you can also follow my blogs where I talk about other uh, YouTubers and customs outside of uh, my YouTube channel, mostly from Instagram and Facebook. So, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video. And, um, um, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. So, for everybody watching this in the morning, good morning, and for everybody else, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.